Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss the mediation analysis using process macro in Smart PLS form. Now there are many relationships which has been given by Professor Hayes. Let us see all those relationships first. So basically, it starts with the model one, then model two, model uh, two. Now this model one, we have already discussed in my previous video. I will request all my viewers to kindly refer the previous videos of this lecture series to understand the flow of the lecture. Today we are going to discuss model four. Y is a dependent variable, X is independent variable. X is affecting Y directly. And there is one more variable, which is MI, which is a mediator variable. So the effect of X is going on Y directly also and through some mediation also. Now two things will come into the existence. One, the direct effect and another is an indirect effect. So here we will have to check that is there any presence of indirect effect or can we say that the mediation is significant in our model or not? How we can do this? Let's see in Smart PLS. First of all, I will activate the new project. I'll write down here the process, create. I'll import the data file, import. All the basic descriptive statistics are generated. Now I'll press the back button. I'll press on create the model. Make sure this time you select process and you will write down here mediation. Say, you will come on the canvas. Now I want to see the effect of weight on mileage of the vehicle. Simply I will drag, drag the mileage here. And wait here. So I'll connect weight with the mileage. This is a direct effect which we want to capture. Now I will include the horsepower in my lecture series. We had seen that horsepower, if it is included as a moderator variable, mod moderator will connect this line directly on this arrow. But this time to make it as a mediator, see in moderator, what we had done, we had connected this line like this, but this time, we will connect the line that is weight to horsepower and horsepower to mileage. It means that the weight is affecting mileage directly. That's a direct effect. And it is also mediating through horsepower to affect the mileage. To see the effects, I'll go and calculate bootstrapping. Start the calculations. Open the report. Path go. You can see that all the p-values are less than 0 0.05. It means that all this path, that is horsepower affecting the mileage negatively. It, mean, it means that with increase in horsepower, mileage will decrease, definitely. Then weight affecting the horsepower, it is also significant because all the p-values are less than 0 0.05. Weight affecting the horsepower, again it is ne negative. It means that increase in the weight will definitely decrease the mileage of the vehicle. So this is a direct effect which is said. This we can further confirm by running confidence interval intervals bias corrected. Make sure that zero is not present in this confidence interval. So the figure is negative to negative means zero is not present. Positive to positive, zero not present. Negative to negative, it means zero is not present. It means that all these path coefficients are significant. Now. One more thing which you will always have to see in the mediation analysis, analysis is a specific indirect effects. Weight affecting horsepower, horsepower affecting the mileage. The number is minus 1.476 and the p-value is less than 0 0.05. It means that the indirect effect is significant. This we can further confirm by confidence intervals bias corrected. You can see here that zero is not present in between these two confidence interval and therefore 
weight affecting the mileage indirectly is also a sig also significant part this we can see on the diagram also you can activate path coefficients and p value from here so weight is affecting directly mileage and it is the relationship is negative it means with increase in the weight the mileage will decrease weight with increase in weight horsepower increases with increase in horsepower the mileage decreases and there is an indirect effect also which is the multiplication of 46 with minus 0 0.032 which we can see here this is being captured through specific indirect effects that is minus 0 0.1467 so for more videos on smart pls4 kindly subscribe to my channel you can refer my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of smart pls4 don't forget to press the like button you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter